Hello there my stamping friends, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a stamp and show and tell for you today and we're going to be using some of the celebration papers that you can pick up during the celebration promotion in January and February of this year. So I'm going to be making a card from the sketch from Freshly Made Sketches. You know I like to play with their sketches so I'm going to do that and this is the papers I'm going to use. But before I jump right into that I just want to show you the full set of papers um, that are in this uh, package. So these are called Sunny Days Papers, and there are 12 different prints, double-sided, so there's two prints per page, so you have lots to choose from. And so these are the nice, bright, vivid prints that come with the Sunny Days Paper, and you can pick up this paper packet as an add-on for free when you place a $50 order during our celebration promotion. So if you have any questions about how celebration works, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Um, you can also email me at susan at pumpkinhillstampers.com and we can chat about the promotion a little bit more. So those are the papers. I think they're fun and bright and uh, pretty whimsical. So I'm pretty excited to be crafting with them for you today. Okay, so we're going to be using this print paper with the strawberries on it. I thought it kind of was fun and festive and bright and cheery because it's kind of gloomy weather right now being winter time here in New York. So I've paired it with uh, Petal Pink which is the color here and also with um, Poppy Parade and Basic White. So those are my three basic colors that I all pulled from the designer series paper. Okay so here's the sketch. Okay now it's a pretty simple sketch. Their sketches are usually pretty simple and that's why I like using them because you can add any creativity you want to your project. So to start I had a piece of petal pink cardstock. It's four and a quarter by eleven. Now I scored mine at five and a quarter previously. I'm going to show you the end result. First thing I did was run it through the new Adoring Hearts hybrid folder. Um, so it's a it's a set where you get an uh, embossing folder and so what I did was I put my piece in and I put it in the middle and I ran it through and embossed the front of my card. And when I did that, I came back with this embossed panel for the front of my card. So, easy peasy, that works just like any other embossing folder, correct? So, that's the first thing. Now, why do they call it a hybrid folder? Because it also comes with dies that coordinate with the folder, and it's hybrid because you can run them together. So that's kind of a cool feature. Um, of these hybrid folders is that the dies coordinate perfectly with the folder. So what I do is I usually open my folder up, I put my die so it fits around the images that it coordinates with. That's how that goes there. Okay, and then I had just a piece of uh, Poppy Parade scrap, which I happened to be wide enough, and I was able to put this in here like this. Well, this one's not long enough. My other one was a little bit longer, apparently. Okay, so I put a piece in like this, covered it all the way across, and then I closed up my folder. If you wanted to, you could use a little washi tape to hold it in place. I just kept it pinched closed. Then I went to my uh, embossing machine, my die cutting machine, and I ran that through. And what I came back with was three embossed and die cut hearts. So that's kind of cool. Well, that's how those hybrid folders work. You can use them separately or you can use them together. And that's how you use them together. Okay, so now I've got these fun three uh, hearts that are embossed and die cut to coordinate with my card. Okay, so then, right, I said I was going to use this designer series paper, and obviously we're working with circles primarily this week. It wouldn't have to be a circle, but I'm going to stick with circle, so I'm using my favorite stylish shapes die, my big circle, and I die cut a piece of the designer series paper. So really, so far all the pieces have been pretty simple, right? So keeping it simple. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to put this in the center, just like the sketch shows. I'm going to pick two of the hearts. I think I'm going to go with those two. I'll leave this one for another project. So this is going to go there, and then we're going to have two hearts down here as embellishments. Okay, so now I need a little sentiment, right? So I've got my, my basic white, and I'm going to bring in my Poppy Parade ink. Keep it all coordinating with the colors in the project. And then I have a new stamp set to me, Everyday Details, and I like this sentiment right here. You make every day a little brighter. So I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to stamp this on my basic white. Just let me ink this up. Now, I had to re-ink my ink pad the other day, 
and I haven't gotten it quite even, so hopefully I'll get a nice even stamp with it. I need to spread the ink out a little bit. All right, so I can see through my block. I'm going down on my white, and I have my white just a little bit wider than the sentiment, so it'll fit nice and even. It's like three quarters of an inch wide. And then this, I'm just going to put this across the center of that circle and adjust those to fit. All right, so let's just put this together. So I'm going to use liquid adhesive for the first two layers, and then I'll pop that last one up on dimensionals. Okay, so I've got my circle. Then I'm going to add my sentiment. Put that across to the center. Now, if you wanted to, you could use your scissors and fussy cat out that sentiment to make it a little more um, airy, more of the color to show behind from the DSP, but I'm just leaving mine as a rectangle today. Okay, then let's bring in a couple of dimensionals, put them on the back of our hearts. I think I'll do two, maybe one on that one because I don't want it to get too thick when they overlap. Okay. So this one's going to go down first. I'm going to put this right here at the bottom of that sentiment, and then this one's going to go next to it, overlapping, and there we go. So I hope you enjoyed the project start to finish today. Remember, this is the Sunny Days paper that you can pick up during celebration. Uh, the link back to Freshly Made Sketches is there, so you can go see what everyone else created, which was kind of fun. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of my project today. And if you have any questions, you can comment here as well for that. And follow all my links below to find out more of the projects that I'm sharing. All right, everybody, I hope you do some fun stamping today. And I'll stamp again with you real soon. Bye.